If you are looking to learn a high paying technology and make yourself upskill for the year 2024, make sure to watch this video till the end because this video is going to be the one stop solution for all your queries. In this video we are going to look at the top 5 growing fields in tech industry and their related roadmaps and at the end by watching all these roadmaps you will come to know which field is best suited for you to pick. So let's get started with the first evergreen field in the world of tech and that is web development. As the world is becoming more and more digital, web development is an excellent career choice with high growth rate and a future proof profession. There are three main specializations in web development. You can either become a front end developer, back end developer or a full stack developer. Now starting off with web development, you need to have a strong foundation in the basics. This includes HTML, CSS and JavaScript. HTML HTML is used for creating the structure of web pages, CSS is used for styling and JavaScript is used for adding interactivity and functionality to a website. Now once you have learned the fundamentals, I highly recommend that you should learn some of the most popular CSS frameworks like you can learn Tailwind and Bootstrap. However, I love Tailwind CSS and I use Tailwind in most of my projects. You can also use CSS preprocessors like SAS that will give some extra power to your ordinary CSS and manage your CSS a lot. With SAS, you can use variables and functions to group your CSS code that will of course help you increase efficiency and productivity. Now similar to Tailwind and Bootstrap that are CSS frameworks and that are used to make CSS easier for you, JavaScript also has some frameworks that make JavaScript easier to use as well and hence React is one of them, which is currently one of the most popular JavaScript framework out there. With React you can create modern, interactive and dynamic single page web applications. A React app only holds single HTML file and rest of the website is created via DOM manipulation using JavaScript. React uses reusable components to build an entire website. Now in order to become a professional web developer, you should definitely need to learn React. Now in order to become a full stack developer, you also need to learn a backend language and for this I recommend to learn Node.js which uses the same JavaScript that you already have learned for front-end development with just some additional server-side concepts which means nowadays JavaScript is becoming a general purpose programming language which can be used in both client-side and server-side development. Now Node.js supports express library which makes writing Node.js extremely easier. So just learn how to create a server in Node.js, how to create RESTful APIs by connecting your front-end React application with Node.js server. Finally, to complete the full stack web development process, you should learn a database. And for this, you can learn MongoDB which is a known relational database that relies on objects. And with MongoDB, you have a power to create customized collection of objects or data that is not possible in some other databases. So you need to learn how to connect Node.js application to database and store the data. How to perform the CRUD operation which is short form of create read, update and delete and finally at this point you can call yourself a junior full stack developer who can create end to end small to medium level web applications. And guys this was the most recommended roadmap to learn web development in less amount of time as possible. And at the end I want to include a bonus tip and that is once you have completed learning all the necessary concepts of web development, be sure to create as many projects as you can. You can create an e-commerce app app, a blog or a social media application as this will make you the master of web development and make sure to stay in learning process because in tech industry you can only survive if you are continuously learning some new skills. Nowadays every people uses a phone and a phone is powered by apps. And it is estimated that the worldwide mobile app development industry will grow up to nearly a trillion dollar by the year 2025. So more market growth means more money as a developer you will make for building an application. Now to get started with mobile app development, you have two options. Either you can go with cross-platform frameworks or you can go with native mobile app development. So the difference between frameworks and native app development is that in native app development you are going 
going to use the native technologies to build an app that is built specifically for a platform you are creating the app for. If you are creating an app for Android, then the native languages for Android are Java and Kotlin. Similarly, if you are planning to create an iOS application, you will be using Swift or Objective-C. Now, if you want to create an app that runs on both Android and iOS, but just using one programming language and ecosystem, then here what frameworks come. In market, there are a lot of cross-platform frameworks that you can use. The most popular ones are React Native and Flutter. Flutter is developed by Google and it is a new framework whereas React Native is created by Facebook and it is a little bit older framework and has captured the market a lot. So if you are completely new I recommend to learn native mobile app development because it will give you much control over the application you are creating and also a native developer get paid a lot more than a developer who uses a framework to build a cross platform app. If you want to become a professional mobile app developer go with native. Otherwise, you can also go with frameworks if you have less time or you are taking mobile app development as a hobby and want to create an app as fast as possible with lower learning curve. The global gaming industry is expected to exceed half a billion dollar by the year 2026. This also surpasses movies industry. So again, more market value means more money you will be making as a game developer. Now to get started with game development, you need to learn a language first. And in gaming, there are some languages very commonly used and those are C++, Java and C Sharp. After you learn a particular language, then you can pick a game engine next. Now a game engine gives you a complete environment to build and export a game completely from start to finish. The most popular game engine these days are Unity and Unreal. I recommend Unity as it is best for beginners. Unity uses C Sharp programming language for scripting, whereas Unreal engine uses C++. With game development, you can generate a lot of income by creating and sharing your games on Play Store and Apple Store alone. You can also learn animation, 3D modeling and designing as it is required in game development. And for designing, modeling and animations, the most popular software that you can use is Blender. Now the tip here is that don't learn designing and development at the same time. At start, use pre-built models and graphics for your games and later once you have solid experience in creating games with Unity and C Sharp, you can also learn designing and modeling or you can hire people for these tasks as well. And your job would just be integrating those ready-made graphics in your game. Now the skill that is directly and equally in competition with web and mobile app development is UI UX designing. A UI UX designer is paid equally as a web or mobile app developer. As new devices and screens are coming out, there is high demand for designers. To become a good UI UX designer, you can focus on typography, colors and user experience. The technologies you will be using as a designer are Adobe XD, Figma and Photoshop. However, I recommend learning Figma if you are completely beginner because Figma is free to use and with Figma you can design beautiful UI straight on the web. And at the same time with Figma you can share a live demo with your developer. Also there is high job vacancies available for UI UX designers on Indeed, LinkedIn and Glassdoor. Now as the world is shifting rapidly towards AI and adopting new technologies that uses AI, so learning and adopting AI will open many new opportunities for us. And here machine learning comes. Chat GPT and many other technologies are based on machine learning. And the basic funda of machine learning is that it uses some algorithms to train a model to make decisions. Now earlier we had concept of input processing and output Output, but with machine learning it is like we provide input and output at the same time and train our algorithm or model whatever you call and then provide a new input to process and give us an accurate decision as output. YouTube and Facebook also uses this approach powered by machine learning to showcase video recommendations. Similarly Amazon does the same for showcasing products and these companies are making huge profit by selling more items. So I hope at this point you can to know the basics of how machine learning works and its real world applications and benefits. Now let's see a quick roadmap to master machine learning. So start by learning
understanding the fundamentals of mathematics and statistics as these are the building blocks of machine learning algorithms. Then dive into programming languages like Python which is widely used in machine learning world. You can also use JavaScript or any other programming language. JavaScript also has tensorflow.js library for machine learning. However, Python has a lot more libraries and it has a lot of community. Once you are comfortable with the basics, learn some of the most popular ML libraries of Python such as TensorFlow and PyTorch. Learn how to extract a particular data from a CSV file. Also master different types of machine learning algorithms from supervised like regression and classification to unsupervised like clustering and reinforcement learning. As you gain some confidence in machine learning, put your efforts combined by creating a real world application which also has a front end so people could interact and use it. You can make a lot of money by selling your models as well as giving machine learning services on different freelancing platforms. So these were the top 5 fields that are very popular and high paying these days and are continued to grow in the future. Finally, the bonus tip here is that always keep yourself upskill and updated as there are a lot of new technologies coming frequently in the market. So keeping yourself updated is very important if you want to stand out among developers. At last, I want to mention if you are curious to learn more about programming and web development, make sure to subscribe to this channel. You can also support me either using Patreon for monthly basis or alternatively you can buy me a coffee. So Guys, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time.